They went third in the uh, lineup of our original starters here today at 47 competitors. Romanovich take one and Christine McRae leading us off. Entry number 1078. The time allowed over the short track, 53 seconds. Time the decider. And all the way as they set the pace here today, Romanovich take one, Christine McRae in a blazing time at 39.051. That was with a clear effort, 39.051, the time to beat. Georgina Bloomberg and Lily will take up the challenge over the short track, number 287 returning. We had 12 jumping and three time faults for Georgina and Lily. 12 and three. Time on course was 55 176. 12 plus three. Canadian combination of Utah and Angela Covert Lawrence from St. Lazare, Quebec, returning number 73. We'll be jumping next. Now the target is 39051. Here's our first part of the jump off course. Six seconds added on for a standard time penalty.
Penalty of four, four faults, even with the six seconds added on. We have a time of 52-368, and just the four faults for the refusal penalty at the very first fence in the jump off. Curly ranked in second place with four faults. Six to go, and here is Uruguay, piloted by Todd Benicus out of Wellington, Florida, 652. Romanovich take one, and Christine McRae, pace setting time of 39.051. That's the uh, target clear here in our jump off. Home with a clear, we have a new leader on the board, Uruguay and Todd Minicus right to the top, 37-6-3-0 for the new leading time with five more to challenge, 37-6-3-0. Leslie Howard will be giving it a go down our jump off. She is aboard number 411, Tic Tac. Home with the clear and Leslie with Tic Tac. They'll move into the third position, 40.330, and that was with a jump off clear, 40.330. Moving into fourth place, or into third place, rather. We have the uh, next of our competitors back, Wanna Have and McLean Ward will be next to the challenge. Here's number 92. Uruguay's leading time is 37.630. Knocked down at the penultimate effort in the jump off round. Four faults for McLean and McWanahab. The time was 38.975. Would have been in second, but with four faults, now ranks in fourth place. So again, 38.975 with a single knockdown. We have three more to go. Next to the riders, 18 year old Matthias Trump from North Salem returning with Casey. Casey is number 862. Trying to chase down the uh, top prize here today and that target of Uruguay's 37-630.
One knockdown for Casey and Mateus. They had four faults hitting the finish line in 42-049. That was with four faults, 42-049. Currently ranked in fifth place with two to go. And next to go in our jump off here is Derek Harris with entry number 470, E. Musiak. Home with a clear round, 38, 868 for the time, and is second place for Dara and Emusek. So they move into the second spot with one more challenger coming up. Time on course was 38.868. Last to go on course, and our rider originally from Argentina, now based in New Jersey, here is Maximaya with Cartier number five, will be last to go in the jump off. Last to go, trying to catch 37-630, Uruguay and Todd Minicus riding on top of our Suncast leaderboard. So a refusal penalty of four. We add a standard time penalty with a fence disruption. And once all is set, they will return to jumping. Time will start when the horse is actually in the process of negotiating our Suncast Oxer. And yeah, it looks like Max will call it an afternoon. A great job, though, for Maximaya and Cartier as they'll finish up in the ninth position, retiring here in the jump off.